a thriller from Welsh Shrine Arena in Evanston, Illinois. It's Northwestern taking down Illinois in five sets, 15 to 10 in the fifth set. Jeff Eisenman alongside Greg Mraz. And Greg, it was the fighting Illini that got out to that two sets to none advantage. Illinois has a big front line, and they showed how effective they were at receiving attacks early on tonight. But Jeff, once Northwestern was able to game plan for Jennifer Beltran and how Illinois was receiving those digs, they were able to set the car in motion and go, go, go. They won the last three sets. At the start, it was Illinois. Liz McMahon and Jocelyn Burks, 21 and 14 kills respectively. You look at the assists, Alexis Valunas, 52, 26 digs for Jennifer Beltran. They were up front offensive. Illinois was strong at the start. One of the things that Illinois did, and you pointed that out with Beltran and Valunas, they dug and set the ball extremely high. What does that allow Illinois to do? It allows the outside hitters and middle blockers to be able to come over and receive emphatic attacks. And frankly, that's what kept Northwestern out of position. But once Keeler Chan game plan for how Illinois was going to attack, then that's when Northwestern caught fire. Illinois 25-19 to 19 in both those first two sets. Northwestern went into that break, and Keeler Chan must have said something to the Cats because they came out firing. There's Yawande Akambi with a kill in the third set, a very commanding advantage for Northwestern. Northwestern, you look at the attack percentages in their last three sets, 20%, 31%, and 33%. And frankly, you got to give a lot of credit to Kaylee Ryan. She set everybody up extremely well tonight. She had 58 assists in the five sets. That's good for an over 11 assists per set average and then you got to give a lot of credit to Stephanie Holtis. She was fantastic from the third set on. Stephanie Holtis setting her her season high with 28 kills. That was her career high as well. She now moves into second place on the Wildcats all-time list uh, in in kills and an amazing night. And you talked about it, Greg. When you need your best, when you need your best game, your best players step up. Well, Stephanie Holtis knows how to beat Illinois. She's the only senior on this Wildcat squad, and frankly, she put herself in position off of sets to be able to get points. And when you do that, you're going to have a great chance to win. And 28 kills, that tells the entire story of the last three sets for the Wildcats. And you see the emotion all around here after that last play. There's Maggie Burnham. Don't forget the game she had. She got the start in this match and performed very well. Six kills and six blocks for Maggie Burnham. And you look at Stephanie Holtis. 28 kills tonight to go along with 11 digs. And you can't say that one player won the match for Northwestern, but Stephanie Holtis started the engine that made Northwestern go on that road to victory. A double-double for her. She's had a lot of great nights. One of them came tonight and you look at the stats Northwestern didn't start that way but they took the lead in every category by the end of this match. Northwestern just played a more composed game their last three sets and that's why they were able to keep Illinois off balance and got the Wildcats a victory tonight four out of five victories for the Wildcats in their past five matches. Both teams came into tonight receiving votes in the coaches poll. Both teams came in at 4-4 four and four in Big Ten play. Illinois drops to 8-11 and 11 overall, 4-5 and five in Big Ten play. Northwestern 13-8, and 5-4 and four in Big Ten play. Thanks for watching on the Big Ten Digital Network.